We'll get it. We'll get it one day. Well, this live stream's broken up into 60 individual one-minute clips. I don't know. That's fine, man. Will the Growler Boys ever have a perfect episode? Who knows? You can talk about it with each other at Yellow City Street Food. Yeah, we'll never, ever have another one. Mm, we'll nah. never, we, have nah. we had one perfect one? Nah. I mean, audio-wise, they're all fucking beautiful. I think we might have streamed. They really are. I think we might have YouTube streamed one. Still got this goddamn. All the way through. But then I a think something board. happened with the audio. Did something happened with the other camera, so we had to use the YouTube stream as the regular thing. That happens often. We yeah. got we got ways. So around it's this it's shit. either one or the other. Yeah. We'll smoke and mirrors, baby, with the audio game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we're gonna have some good Easter eggs uh, in this episode. Because mm-hmm. I mean, you just you just dropped the fucking biggest freestyle of 2019, so the people gotta hear that shit. We gotta hear That's that. That's all shit. I do, man. All of them are fucking. Easter eggs. Trying to, get, trying to get signed out here, you know. All of them are gold. All you do is win? All I do is get them dubs. All you do is win? That's all I do. That's it, man. And I that's, mean, and anytime that, you that's lose, that's all that matters. There's always an excuse. Like, if you would have just done better, you would have won. So, like, you're still a winner, you know. If I would have yeah. seen that left hook coming, I would have won. That's it. If I would have dodged it and threw the right, I would have won. Well, I guess for the fourth time, we're starting. Are we starting? Well, let's start. Yeah, let's start it officially, man. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know what we're about, bro. Well, we are about drinking beer and talking shit and uh, hanging out at Yellow City Street Food, who just so happens to sponsor this fucking podcast, dude. Hey, yo. Episode 22 about to pop off. burger uh it's just this plant-based meat patty i mean it's not meat it's this plant-based patty that burns like cooks burns bleeds and tastes exactly like meat they're delicious as it's well. crazy you would never know if you ate one and you and someone didn't tell you you would never know but so yeah, it seems yeah. impossible it's impossible it's, it's impossible, impossible to make dude. fucking because people really do like they're gonna say like oh you can never make meat taste like you know or you can never make vegetables taste yeah. like meat. Well, this shit, I I prefer it. I like it's soy. Great. You know, that's yeah. usually what it is, soy, right? Yeah, this shit ain't soy. soy. It's just all plants. It is, man. It's, it's all got plants. something in it that has it's feelings. It's some wild so. fucking plant. That's Danny, that's your cue to look it up, but what are you doing? There's On shit. your phone? God, who are you texting over there? I'm just, we're just fucking with you, man. We're just God. having a good time, dude. We're, at your we're, expense. You know, we're technically uh by my count we're 11 minutes in but over there we're three minutes in we're just trying to have a good time already danny yeah we got a little warm-up in you know so we're about to bring that heat yeah we're trying to, to bring to it the, damn we got to the faithful on viewers the i think that's probably my beard damn dude that's how dry these mics look at, are look man. at the, the dust, dust in here dude oh, i'll yeah, tell man. you what i can tell you a thing or two about some dust <laughs> <laughs> all kinds we of different could, types of dude. dust out there we all could yeah, today Especially Disco dust, being dust, it's all dust, baby. Getting dusted? Getting uh, fucking dusted at the bar like a scrub? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can just call me that boy. We all know. That boy, Dustin. <laughs> Your name's Danielle Dusty. <laughs> Danielle Dusty? Yeah. Danielle Dust Buckets. Dude, Safa on the bunt called uh, Joe Flacco a uh, dusty bucket of dust. I think I've said this on the podcast <laughs> yeah, for before. Sure. It's pretty it hard. It never gets old, though. But it's it a is. A hard, dusty uh, fucking bucket of dust, dude. Pretty hard burn, honestly. That's so, f- that's so fucking disrespectful. Yeah. You like, you, you, you ain't even, like, really hitting it until, you know, like, you're a dusty bucket of dust. Like, even the fucking bucket's Even the dusty, bucket's man. dusty as shit because you're so fucking old and washed up. Just Dust. 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 It's a great phrase. I'd yeah. like to credit Chris Benson for uh, bringing that one into yeah, us. He definitely introduced that term, and I have used it ever since. I use it all the time. It so, is a, uh, a fine term. When you die, would you get buried like an like a Irish person back in the old days, like on the railroad, where they'd put them in their casket? Like they'd have like a a ceremony for their before their funeral the night before, and they'd like 
have them stood up in their casket with a shot in their hand. Oh yeah, and they'd go pour <laughs> they'd go pour shots into the shot glass, and then they'd, they'd cheers it and take the shot, and then they'd take the other shot, and then put the shot glass back in his hand. That's yeah, what really that, uh, happens. That actually sounds that, like back the only in the way to go now. Damn, that sounds epic, dude. Yeah. Sounds like the only way to do it, as far as I'm concerned, at this like point. Like way back in the day. Though. That sounds epic. Yeah, if you if I was gonna like go take me out for one more night of getting faded, just be out just there, pouring the shots, <laughs> taking shots out of my hand. <laughs> you heard it here first. Boys. Make yeah. sure that happens for All me. Right. I got you, Josh. Well, Please. Uh, I'm of the Jewish faith, and we just get buried in those ma- or not buried, get put up in those mausoleums. Yeah, that's the that's what we do. Those big ass. Dude, I, I got the yeah, ginger gene, man. Things. That Irish blood is in me. So I, you, I need so that. That's all you. I want that. Well, you think, want that, Jesse? Gonna, what do you want? I think I'd get cremated, and then they could use my you know cremation dust as you know uh, maybe put it in like some welding powder, or you know like dynamite, or you know just something like in in some kind of manufacturing, maybe some sawdust. Or some sweep stuff stuff they can use to sweep up the floor with. Yeah, you know, just something productive. <laughs> like you seriously, know? seriously though, I'm just honestly say you're thinking. still out there doing that work. Yeah, I'm still out here getting <laughs> shit done. I told because I told people at work. Uh, I, I asked my buddy. He's he's from South Africa, and I, and I was like, "What are you gonna do when you die?" And he's like, oh, "I'll get cremated." And I was like, "Yeah, I would too." And then we have like these uh, weld machines that use they use like uh, this thing called flux. It's like sand. And I was like, yeah, I would want to get cremated, and they could put me in that flux stuff. So when <laughs> when they do the weld, I'll be like uh, like the the cap of the weld. And yeah, then it's he's just like, your face. he's like, yeah, that that'd be that'd be pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, and then it'd be like defective, so they'd have to go back gadget out, and I'd just be smoke floating in the air, and I'd like have like a superpower or something. Yeah, I'm I'm and, with that movement. Or just be floating through the air. You have like it dark so dust. extensively planned out. I mean, I'm about it. I, I'm here for you. I mean, I'm honestly thinking about just going a little too hard tonight so y'all can experience how awesome this fucking Irish fucking funeral would be. Cause <laughs> <laughs> that shit sounds fucking sick, dude. I'm going to do that just for you guys. Be like, just have the boy right there No, no, there no. It was, it was for us. It was for us. That's what you can tell all the people that are all sad, all like five people. We'll all be just pouring shots of Jack into your hand, dude. Yeah. I'm just sitting there. Just like <laughs> you, like as soon body. as you die, we do that. Yeah, right. Like, like right now, if you ceremony. died, we do it right now. I'd, yeah. I'd want that. Okay. My dead body is just slowly creaking. It's <laughs> <laughs> getting fucking rigor mortis. Yeah. yeah. Like mid shot. Yeah. Like, like how horror movies try to make it scary, but that's not what would have really happen. You yeah. just have those a- after twitches where you're like, <laughs> I want that. Flicking the wrist. I want that. Flick so. So you're getting buried in a mosque. I'm getting cremated. You're getting cremated. I'm getting cremated and getting mausoleum. That shot, way big dude. different than mosque, but close enough. Try. I want to be put in the bottle that everybody drank. Oh, I'm down. So I'll take yeah. a shot of your ashes. Fuck yeah, dude. That'd you be know? cool, man. Just make like a hundred bottles, and every every bottle gets a little bit of a dude. It's all a compliment, man. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm made out of. <laughs> So just, it might fuck you up on some different shit, you just know. Just throw you in some some fucking coffee, like as the coffee creamer. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, what movie was that from? That, that actually I don't happened. How that happened? Uh, yeah. Is it is it the Hangover? Yeah, I think so. It's some movie. I know, I know what you're talking about. Hangover though, Part Two. I'm if pretty, only we I know had someone fact, that could look stuff up and tell us. Zach Galifianakis has the fucking uh, <laughs> ashes, and then and then they end up having to put them in a fucking like coffee. A coffee. Oh yeah, it's not a Hangover movie though. It's definitely not a Hangover movie. Oh, because uh, I think it's fucking. Who's it's it? the one with our uh, Robert Downey Jr. I turn my phone. Yeah, that movie. I don't even Where remember. Where he's what having called. a baby, they have to cross the country oh, together. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what is it called? What is that movie called? Ooh, I have it on Blu-ray. Because they have a fucking little French bulldog in it, right? Yes, that's the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, it's that one. Where they have, they like miss a flight and they have to yeah. ride together. Man, I want to say it's called the trip or something. The road trip or some shit and like that. Due date. Due yeah, due date. No, we're there close it to is. the trip. Close. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Zach Galifianakis, his uh, whole goal in that movie is to, like spread his dad's ashes over the Grand Canyon or some shit like that. And like at some point in the movie, the ashes end up in a fucking like Folgers coffee yeah, can. Yeah, like, that's right. They that's get right. stuck somewhere and they're at Jamie Foxx's house and like he goes to make coffee in the morning and it's that fucking those ashes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he thinks yeah. it's creamer. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. In my defense, I was thinking of the movie Guilt Trip with Seth Rogen and Barbara Streisand, and they do the same shit basically uh, so ideas, I, wasn't, ideas, I wasn't completely wrong ideas for other ideas i, I like completely it. wrong so this world it. it's called guilt trip right 
I, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, yeah, I'm 100% positive, dude. <sighs> and I was right there because I was 100% positive, dude. You're pretty, getting pretty good, dude. That movie does suck. Have you been doing like Sudoku, like mind exercises, any, pu- oh, any puzzles? I've been fucking. Any uh, Tetris games? Oh, you have been, you have been going to Lit, man. That's a mind challenge. Dude, yeah, I've been, I've been going Tetris. to Lit playing NBA Jam. NBA, left and right. NBA Jam will get that IQ up, baby. <laughs> it will, dude. No yeah, doubt. I've just been watching tough. Cops lately, so, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, that'll get your street law justice up. Cops yeah, is cops, a fucking good show. Cops will get you fucking hyped up, man. It makes you just want to do bad shit. Cops is so fucking funny, like, just listening to these dumb fucking crackheads. Dude, the reasons and shit because it's instantly it comes out of their mouth and you're like wow you're a fucking crackhead yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it's just like a worst lie i've ever heard <laughs> yeah just like could have came up with something better think immediately of, think of better lies dude, yeah, dude like think dude. Of better fucking lies Either don't say anything or don't say the worst lie that's ever been said in the world yeah dude it's, it's hard to keep Two your options. shit together when all you're thinking about is that fat rock you know true yeah, you thinking about that next score? Yeah, I see my fucking neighbors all the time. And they're the they're basically score. every subject of cops. Yeah. Well, oh. 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 We need we need to get them on the next episode. Maybe we can get a little cameo in that that shot. Dude, I had a dream about my neighbors last night. It's coming back to me right now. Let me think about it for a second. Because I remember I remember in my dream, I had like a bright ass light shine in my face. And I, I even asked Vicky today, I was like, hey, did you shine a flashlight in my face in the sleep and well, while we were asleep? She was like, why, why would I do that? I was like, I don't know. I fucking, I had in, in my dream, someone shined a flashlight in my face and it felt so real, dude. And it woke me up. Cops. Man, I'm getting way off topic. So anyway, in the dream, I fucking went outside and my, my dude, I have the biggest, like the crackiest of crackhead neighbors. You guys know. Oh, yeah. The audience I've, doesn't I've, know because uh, they've never been to my house. I've seen them. I've they don't seen need them. context. Nobody They're the worst. Needs context They're the worst. For anything. So anyway, I went outside and they were like all cleaned up and nice and shit. Damn. And I was like, church. damn, crazy. And I went up and talked. I've never talked to any of them ever. I've lived in that house for like t- t- two and a half years. I've never spoken a single fucking word to any of them because they do crack. And I was just like, hey, what's up, man? He was just like, oh. Not much. We're just about to do some crack. I swear to <laughs> fucking God. He said it? In the dream. He said, we're just about to oh, do some crack. Oh, this is a dream? Yeah, this oh, is still a dream. dream. I thought this was real life. <laughs> and I was, and I was like, say, oh, cool. Yeah. He was like, oh, you want to join us? I know we've never met. Like, he was like trying to be all formal and nice looking and shit. And like their house is all cleaned up and they, they had like grass and shit. Because dude, their yard is fucking dirt. And they have just shit in it. Crack. And all their windows are broken out because they do crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Or probably methamphetamine, which is the more popular drug these days. Especially in Amarillo. And yeah, I we need to bring crack back. I am fucking 100% sure they make it in their house. Oh, sick. Nice, oh, man. like for sure. So they you do, got a free pass to do shit. anything. Yeah. Pretty much. Because they're not going to fucking call That's the cops That's why when you. we party at my house, I fucking rage in the backyard. Because I'm like, call them. Go ahead. Call them. Your, yeah. mo- your move, meth heads. Yeah. <laughs> Your move, motherfucker. Yeah. Guaranteed you're not going to call the cops on me. Yeah, that's, no. meth, that's messed up. Dude, we that's fucking... So messed we up. get in fights in the front yard and shit. No one fucking calls the cops. Yeah, they, we, we've they had can, some, uh, some interesting things. Yeah, happen. Good old rumbles. We wild out, man. Speaking that's good, man. Of, you got to get all that testosterone out. We have a good time. Yeah. We have a good fucking time, don't we, boys? We have boys? a great time, dude. Yeah, I'm having a good time right now. I am. I'm having a fucking great time, dude. I'm having a good Friday. Thought I was gonna get fired today. Didn't. What'd you it's do, a good man? Friday. Yeah, why would you have gotten fired? Man, so the other day, I think it was on Monday, I had a, a package for this dude I deliver to all the time, and it's always a COD mm-hmm. where he has to give me a check. And I had one, and it didn't have like the paperwork for a normal COD. And he was like, Oh, this one's not supposed to be COD. I delivered to this dude every fucking day for three years. And then all of a sudden. And I was like, all right, no worries. So I just bypassed it. Two days later, my boss is like, hey, why didn't you get the check for this package? And I was like, ah, fuck. I was like, well, uh, none of the paperwork was in there. The dude said it wasn't supposed to be a COD. I fucking just took his word for it. You know, I had a busy day. 
Every yeah. day's a busy fucking day. Yeah. He's like, okay. I just wanted to know. Okay. And I was like, okay, that's it. That's it the end of it. It happens. You Today, know? right when I get out on my route, my boss calls me. He's like, hey, I need to see you in my office when you get back. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm getting fired. That's uh, the firing message. That is. That's, for hey, sure. you're getting fired. Okay, yeah. Go do your work talk. one more time all day, and then you're going to get fired. Like, we still need you. We but, still need you today for eight but. hours, so then you're going to get fired. All day, I was like, fuck, man. Just stressing out it's all worst day. worst feeling, dog. I got back. I went in there. He's like, you on the clock still? I was like, yeah. He's like, all right, we need to talk, and I want you to get paid for it. And I was like, all right. I went in, and I sat down, and he's like, so, I was like, obviously, it's about the fucking COD package. He was like, yeah. I was like, am I fired? He's like, no, why would I fucking fire you? Like, I, I was like, well, why did you send me the fucking worst message of all time, dude? At the beginning of the day. <laughs> At yeah, the bro, beginning like, of the day. Is this yeah. for your amusement? Like, so he's like, mean. oh, no. He's like, dude, I just need an official statement from you. Like, just write it down and sign it for you me. You couldn't have been like, yo, Nick, I need to see you in my office today. I need an official statement from you. Hey, Nick, when you get back, could you write down what happened? Like, hey, Nick, Simple how's your day that? going? Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, dude. All day I was like, fuck, man, I'm going to get fired. It, what it, <laughs> like, you think it's going to bring you in and be like, so it turns out you violated federal law. And uh, so, uh, you know, it turns out that, uh, you know, man, things just aren't going to work out for you. And uh, we're going to have to walk you out. Yeah. The reason Steve's here is because he's <laughs> going to walk you to the gate. Oh, uh, not Steve. We, we there is literally a dude named Steve, and he would have been the guy to walk me to the gate. Which yeah, is there hilarious. you go. Damn. That's awesome. I'm gate boy up. Steve, man. Yeah, so psycho dude. Politic. Every I talked to a couple people I work with, and uh, I even told Vicky I was like, I might get fucking fired when That's I get scary. off of work today. <laughs> me as a boss. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Oh, by the way, you're fired. LOL. <laughs> No, just like just put it even more disrespectful. Lols, L U L Z. Yeah, your yeah, fires. Or, or Lil, L E L. Yeah, <laughs> just hit him with that fucking. So yeah, talk. I didn't. I didn't get fired. That's good, and man. It's all good, dude. That's good. I'm glad that for you're for sure. Thought I was getting fired. I'm glad that you're still employed. And uh, yeah. So I guess the shipping company fucked up. I forgot the paperwork. Classic. So it's not my fault. Yeah. What are you supposed to do, man? You're going to fuck that yeah, guy over? Yeah, it, dude, it, it's like a 10-step process when there's a fucking COD, too. So, like, I knew it was a COD. I saw it. And I was like, okay, every day. Every day with him. No problem. Mm. I got COD. there. And I, like, scanned the pack. And I was like, oh, shit, there's no paperwork. And he saw me doing that. He's like, oh, yeah, this one's not supposed to be a COD. They changed it. Damn, I was I like, oh, okay. A, I just got an idea. Mm. You could use that as, like, a porn headline. So you know? they... Yeah, I, I don't want to get so, into it. So every, it's every, everybody fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. And I didn't get fired. And that's you, the moral and you, of the story. And you, that's the thing is, man, I hate when people fucking just like stop and make everything so fucking difficult. Like make a judgment call. You made a judgment call. You fucking did what you thought yeah. was appropriate and you moved on. Dude, this this was like the first hour of my day too. Hour one of eight. <sighs> the worst. So one. I was like, fuck it, man. This wasn't supposed to be COD. I believe this fucking dude. It's all good. Yeah, you've been delivering multiple multiple packages. He gets every CODs day. every time. If he's gonna tell me one time it's not, I'm gonna be like, "You're all good." Yeah, of course, man. Chad still work there? I haven't talked yeah, to Chad dude. in a while. Chad still so. works there. Uh, yeah. He's about to slide into a nice easy route too because this dude got fired. Uh. And that's why I was worried because I was, was like, he, "Damn, uh, they fired this dude." But that dude was the goddamn fucking worst human being alive. Was he fucking the pocket pussies before he delivered them? I wouldn't put it past him. Classic. I wouldn't put it past him. Classic move. Classic. That's a classic move. Wouldn't fucking put it past him. That was the first fucking internet challenge. (sighs) Delivery, man. Fucks pocket pussy before delivery. (laughs) Yeah, so I think I want to bring kind of a new segment on. What's up? But, uh. New, new, baby. Well, it's just shit that I read on shirts or bumper stickers or whatever, even even if you guys want to get in. Oh, I'm all for it. Yeah, because. I see bumper stickers all day. Exactly. (laughs) That's why you'd be great for it. I'm listening. Or even just shirts, but. Um, so I I saw this shirt that. I know I saw a bumper sticker today, and it had, uh, the parentheses, and it said born, and the parentheses at the end, and then it was squared. So. Uh-huh. And I was like doing, I was doing, I was like Zach Galifianakis in that thing. And I was like doing the thing. And I was like, does that mean I'm born squared 
or like born again or like two times born or like what the fuck is going on because i had that back exponent to back, boy. And i was yeah like i don't know i was like or is it b times o times r times n squared what does that fucking equal out to like and I was just going in and I was is just it like, born again Christian or something? That's what I think it was, dude. And it, born again is all hey, I can get from it. Yo, I started reading it and I was like, this is kind of like a uh, Lone Star cap. And I like, I, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to look it up. I want to solve it. Like I want to figure it out before I look it up. So I was like, so I think it means born again. What would you think? That sounds about right. Born again is the only one. Like that's born with really a little think. two. Yeah, and it has the parentheses yeah, yeah, and then yeah. squared, sure. squared up at the. Yeah, look it, look it up. Look did it they up. did they have other, other uh, context that was clues? It, that was stickers? it. That was yeah. it. There wasn't like a little. Pis- Norm- it wasn't like a Pisces fish or anything. Yeah, norm- normally when there's one psychotically religious sticker, there's plenty more to follow. That's it. That's it right there. Born squared. What is it? The latest cool, yeah. yes, I was oh. right. The latest cool Christian bumper sticker, born, born too. again, dude. I fucking knew it. Which that, it what doesn't even born, really born. mean born again. It means born times born. It literally yeah. just means born twice. I will really, no, it doesn't. Mean I will born really twice. put an image of this on the podcast this time. I say it every fucking time, and I don't do it. I'll do it this time. It be, it means born multiplied multiplied by born. Oh, so you just been born? Yeah. So it makes no sense. Double born. It, but I've it, been staring at. All the right, but if you multiply weird, born yeah. times born, it looks weird. The born, it would, I, the it born would be identity. Two, it would be two borns, huh? Because it's born times born, and they're both one. Still, so I, was, I, was, I was like, oh damn, is are you about to do a goddamn fucking math like right, a real algebra equation, equation over there? Well, it doesn't make sense either way because it's letters. Just say born again. But I guess it, I guess it. Well, er, we're, obviously, just, just don't put it on your car. Obviously, it's working. The shit's working because we're talking about it. Yeah, I guess so. Huh? That looks like tits. Ha! <laughs> Why can't you just get a fucking bumper sticker that just says "Jesus saves" with the fucking cross on it? Just call it good. Just the OG one. Jesus. Oh, just get, you're doing a uh, PIMDAS on it now. Or just get a fucking bumper sticker that Not says PIMDAS. "Born Again Christian." If you really want to represent, tell people what you're about, dude. I want to get one that says birth 2.0. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Birth you 2.0. You should fucking make those. I dude, bet they'd yeah, sell. Yeah. Check that out, dude. Dude, that birth would be the next 2. latest 0. Christian bumper sticker. Uh, Birth 2.0. Okay. I think, I think yeah, we're, we got the ball bro. rolling. We got the ball dude, rolling right now. There, and I think uh, we're going to get this, this uh, Growler Boys uh, bumper sticker thing going. That's I'm our gonna, next line. I'm going to make a bumper sticker called Born Again Spiritual. Whoops. Because I'm spiritual now. Which is way, oh, so, be- way better. Than, so now when you're born again, you're just spiritual? Yeah, I'm just spiritual That's this boring. time. I want to get like a little ice cube emoji and then like a guy cutting his wrist with a knife. So it's like cold cuts. Oh, there's like a band or something? Danny, or a just, song? just look at images, dude. God damn it. Just look at images. And then I'll, that, that's it. Yep. Nope, don't see no one. No bumper stickers. That's out, okay, here What's we go. What's that first one, though? Of a girl first million just dollar idea on the growler pod. Someone that overdosed on heroin. Oh, just a person sleeping. Uh, classic move. Not going to click it. All right. Well, all right Is that a scorpion? Type in Born 2.0 bumper stickers. <laughs> okay, thanks. Dude. Oh, look at that smirk. So zoom back into that. That's a smirk I wake up with when I have a boner. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm staring at my fucking computer. And I'm like, Dude. you don't know what we're about to get into. That's the fucking perfect that's boner the, face. That's the biggest uh-huh. boner. The smirk on her, that dude. That is the fucking perfect she's boner like, wow. face. Dude. She's like thinking about making sandwiches. Yeah, no, the she's fucking like, womb baby is on. the next thing. A womb baby. Isn't that the fucking... The, womb baby? The, the fucking vagina speakers? Is oh! That wait, wait, is that wait, it? wait, wait, wait. It is wait. the womb baby. Wait, wait, wait. What is... What in the fuck? We talked this? about this, didn't we? If, if we did, we I don't have, remember. Where you I don't put, know. Where you put, uh, you have. You get this thing and you shove it in your vagina so the fucking, the premature, or not the, pre, the like the unborn baby can f- listen to music. A pussy phone. Yeah, so, yeah it's, uh, well. It's pussy it, speakers. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's speakers for your pussy. <laughs> what? It's pussy speakers. Oh, man, that's, that, that is an invention. Yeah, so when, when your baby's up in there, you can put you can songs in like talk shows, TED Talks. Here's the best part. Do you like Lil Wayne? There's a second jack where you can also listen to headphones, where you're both listening to the same thing. So you have a cord hanging out of your fucking pussy, 
seems practical. Where you can listen to fucking music in your ears. It's practical. Yeah, this, the baby's just in there jamming. I don't think it's called Moon Baby. Listening Moon to the ba- baby. listening to the Beatles. D- dude, just for for everybody, just Google pussy speakers, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Google Pussy, Pussy speakers. speakers. Please. I guarantee it pops up. I guarantee it does. There it is. Either but, that or... Yeah, uh, me, me and Harold, we've been uh, labia listeners for about two months now. And gosh, I mean, I'm really like... I'm really I just listen to Pussy all the time. With my baby. <laughs> I just get put my ear up to Pussy. Baby and, Pod. That's it. Baby I fucking pod. told you if you'd Google Pussy Speakers. Pussy Speakers. And baby Pod. <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Yo, that's like hey, we're girl. having a fucking good podcast. Yeah, fucking surround sound of Pussy Town is all like I'm thinking. Oh, right so now. would you would you even venture into that? Like, if you, like let's say you ha- you were on the pro- on the process of becoming a father, would you say you know what? It, or what? It, what if your girl was like, I'm gonna get a fucking pussy pot pot. <laughs> And I'm going to stick it in my vagina for our baby to listen Hell to stuff. yeah. If she said it, I'd be like, and, yeah. And hold not? on. Hold on. And if you did agree and say it was okay, what would what would your limits be? What if she's like, I'm going to have him listen to Christian rock? Like, or like, you know, what the <laughs> fuck you get? What are you getting your baby into? What's <laughs> your baby going to get into? Well, any any, any chick I do is not going to be fucking Christian because our values are completely different. Uh, and if you listen to Christian rock, you can just unscri- unsubscribe from this podcast. I don't know. Dude, my baby's coming out listening to fucking I'd be, I'd be, all I'd that I'd be putting fire. fucking chill-ass music in dude, there, dude. my baby will Mogwai come out. and shit. But would you be okay with it? Like her stuff and speakers I and guess. her pussy? I guess. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. You, That's weird. You're kinda, you kind of take the same stance like it's your body. Dude, I hope do so. Do what you want. I, I, yeah. I, I'm the same way, but I I'd, wouldn't give a shit. I'd be like, it's your body. Do whatever you want with it, but can I have a say on what he's listening to? Like, put some Bill Burr in there or yeah, something, you know? I, dude, I'd be playing mellow ass shit dude, like this. She, like, uh, yeah. just some mellow ass music. Having that baby in there, chill as fuck. Nah, dude, you play shit like this, that baby ain't coming out. It's, dude, br- it's time for it to birth. They're trying to induce that motherfucker's holding on. My old, my old lady, man, she might have the better judgment, dude, because my baby be coming out addicted to fucking pussy lean and Xanax. <laughs> so he's in there listening to Lil Wayne. He's in there listening to all that trap shit. <sighs> so, uh... My baby's first words are fucking this young is a little, honey. This is a little different. I guess we're kind of on, on subjects that we can kind of debate about. What... <sighs> Fuck. Do you think if a male is drunk and a girl, oh, the old do you think debate? A, huh? Do you think a male can get raped by a female? Yes. Is what I'm <coughs> getting into. Yes. It depends. Yeah. Okay. A hundred percent. So do you yeah, think? Yeah, it just seems like. So a strange... do you think being drunk is a good excuse for being raped? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Right. It is. Right. Yeah. One hundred percent. I mean, that's that's and probably all... <laughs> like the majority of the excuse. Most of, in most cases. Yeah, but there's a fine line. I would say if you if you and that guy went on dates and dates and dates and fucking talked, uh-huh. and you, that's ah, it's a tough one, man. Well, I'd, see, I'd say for one, if you've had sex with that person before and y'all got drunk and had sex again, that's definitely that's not different. right. Definitely not. Un- unless, of and course, you know, you didn't want to want to If one person's sober and one person's not, then it's obviously an easy you know way to call it yeah well this, for me i feel like if i'm sober and a and a girl is fucking blacked out oh, yeah. if i have sex with her that's 100 percent rape and yeah. i yeah, ne- like i would never do that i've told exactly like no girls like i've had girls co- i mean like, people do try, that yeah try, really we, really had guys, that we wouldn't do some shit like that well i feel yeah i'd feel terrible man like the girl's fucking drunk as fuck and i'm sober like yeah. not nah. yeah but don't get me wrong i've been drunk as fucking a girl's been drunk as fucking it's been like a mutual huh. thing oh that's when it's the funnest that's the best that's when you get into the butt looking yeah but there's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. Not, yeah you're not lying <laughs> Dude, you, dude, dude! After like a good like three or four tall Jack and Coke, man, you're ready to floss that asshole. Yeah, for sure. That's the fr- hey every Holy shit. every time every first time a dude's eating pussy is probably faded most of the time. Butthole for sure, dude. Butthole's a guarantee. That's a whole. Oh, that's like man. dude. Fucking, I swear to God, whiskey is a gateway drug to fucking ass eating. 
and this is where we lose all the little listeners. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so there was a point where okay. feminists were saying even if a male has sex <gasps> with a female while they're drunk, while females drunk, even if they're married, it's rape. Oh yeah, I mean, dude, I watch Law and Order all fucking day, so I see cases like that all the time. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, that's fucking crazy. But but you mu- you got to be in a fucked up marriage for some for for your wife to be like, oh, he raped me. You got to be in a fucked yeah. up marriage. See, because you know what I'm saying? literally, it, it it is possible. But the yeah, way they're rich too, the way they were saying it was just oh, yeah. a general. They're all rich. They're, it was yeah. just a generalization. Yeah, like. I could see some fucking drunk dude being like, hey, let's go. We're going to fuck. And then the wife being like, I'm not in the mood. And he's like, what the fuck did I say? I said, turn around. Yeah. And then they're like, babe, I'm trying to read Harry Potter's episode seven. <laughs> and he's like, I said, I'm getting episode. my, I'm getting some fucking chon chon bitch. And then like, just fucking turning <laughs> around, smashing her face down in Harry Potter, the Goblet of Fire and just like, yeah, getting, that- <laughs> I don't even fucking like Harry Potter, and I know the Goblet of Fire in episode seven. It's four. I'm pretty sure episode seven is the Deathly Hallows. They're not episodes. Isn't it? Chapter? <laughs> Whatever the fuck. They're, they're both. Well, it's the Deathly Hallows. It's you seven. don't even got to look it up. Deathly I Hallows know it is. The that's, the, that's movies. <laughs> that's movies. It's the Deathly Dude, Hallows. I, that's the all this shit one. is theoretical anyways. I know. We're just talking shit, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, just getting, give me a hard we're, time, we're man. We're just our, having a good time. Just giving me good, a hard time. Nah, we're trying to put our rape boots on tonight. Wow, you dude, don't, don't say that. You don't have to look it up because I'm right. Which one said it? It ain't going to be like that ever. We all know which one The Half-Blood Prince. Oh, look Deathly at that. Hallows. Oh, number seven. That the was Deathly a book, Hallows. though. Did you hit your teeth? Mm-hmm. Sounded like him. I hit this on Okay. That. Yeah, I think we all mutually. So, agree from one debate to another, right let's topic. get it out of the way. The big chicken sandwich debate of 2019. Never got to try it. Ooh, did you try it? Did you try it, Danny? It's too late to the party. Oh, you it's guys me and you? blew it. Yeah, it's just me and you. Okay, first off, I don't fucking like Chick fil A's chicken sandwich. Never have. So I'm already biased against them. Some deep waters you're treading in there, boy. I'm a, I'm cool. Did you just with... wipe your dust on my pants? No, I tried to wipe them on mine, and your knee was in the way. You're, uh, yeah, dude. I'm. Fucking... You're man spreading on I'm... me again. Oh, there's not a fucking bar right there. I'm chilling, dude. No, but uh, I'm Chick Fil A. I was, I was never. I'm, I'm a somewhat chicken <coughs> sandwich guy, but not really. The Chick Fil A one is pretty good. Like I'll eat it here and there. I like to get them grilled because I'm like trying not to get too much fried shit. Oh, because you're better than everyone. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, lo- <laughs> I'm trying to lord over everybody. Yeah. I got um, you. I got you. But when I got that Popeyes chicken sandwich, boy, dude, it blows them out of the water. But this is also Why? the thing. It, oh, it's just. Does it got some sauce? The, or what? It's like they have like some kind of butter in the bread or something. It's uh, like the, whatever the fuck they. They boil that chicken <laughs> grease in. All right, let's get this boner <sighs> boy. Let's and then they got those pickles. Yo, I didn't even know I had pickles till like my third bite. I bit into a pickle and I'm like, oh, it is the sweet pickles. I don't even like the sweet pickles, and it's <sighs> it just complements this fucking sandwich so, so yeah, beautifully. It's like they made some craft chicken sandwich, Dude. man. Yellow City make it. Yellow City Yellow makes s- a fucking fire ass chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah. It's Lay in on it. Yeah, Yellow Yellow City makes a better I bet chicken get sandwich, in on but. It. That's what I'm saying for like Popeyes. Yellow City makes their own pickles too, which is <laughs> for Popeyes to come Had in to hot like that. Stay from the jar, dude. Popeyes just came in, knocked everybody out. Do they have like? Is it just that one, or there's like a spicy? They got a, they got a spicy. Oh. One. I got the spicy one. I got the regular one, Ooh. and it was super good. Nicky got regular. I got spicy. They're both fucking beautiful. I'm about to fucking pass out with all this blood flowing in my dick. Chef's, yeah, chef's kiss. The thing, the thing is, like, I could, I would feel bad if I ate more than one a week. Cause it just feels like there's so much in it, you know. What yeah, I mean? that was for sure the worst thing I ate all week. Yeah, like you're gonna like if you, great, ate, if you ate if you ate like one great. more than one a week or like even like a month, like you gotta limit yourself on that. You know, I don't eat chicken sandwiches that much anyways, but I don't I, really either. Dude, I, I, I might, I might hop on that one once a month. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it up more. That's but what, as of today, say. they're sold out nationwide. Yeah, I tried to go get one today, and they said they were out of buns. Every Popeye's well, is buns. sold out nationwide. Hey, you got a bun. I was thinking I that my glass. because they don't—they yeah, usually don't even First make sandwiches, tea. man. They make fucking chicken. 
Yeah, dude. Popeyes goes hard as fuck. Because that sells the debate right there. Popeyes is better than KFC and churches, man. I don't know. KFC has some good bowls. KFC's got some bangers, Dude, man. But Popeyes churches. is better. I've never, I've never been had, to churches. I never really eat well, ch- you, eaten churches. You're not missing out. KFC has like, some <laughs> badass bowls. <laughs> well, you're not missing shit. It tastes like you went to fucking Walmart and deep fried that shit yourself. <laughs> Walmart has some good wings, man. They're Walmart probably has, better than churches. Walmart has everything you need. No, no. You go get some of those like, um, like actual wings. The ones that are in like the deli? Yeah. Yeah. Those are fire, dude. You get salt and vinegar. Dude, during the Super Bowl, mm. I I bought some of those and I refried them. Remember? Oh, I remember. The, the Eagles I and remember. Patriots Super Bowl. Is that a Texas thing to say member? No, it's a New Mex. It's it's like I don't. Know, it's a Southwest thing. Like okay. the, like the member berries from South Park. Like, dude. Oh, member. It's you member. It's member a, it's a, it's a hardcore Mexican thing for sure. Mm, okay. oh, you member. You member. You member. I like that. I'm gonna bring it back. Nah, member. man, but the chicken sandwich thing. Did I say even member? Popeyes? Yeah, you said member. You remember? You remember? You member. Yeah, you said member. <laughs> it's like that I, might I be one of the it. first times I've ever said it. Yeah. You remember? Wow. Yeah, I said you member. You didn't say it like that. You said it. I did. Almost no. like you said remember, but you're like you remember, like almost like you're gonna say remember, you but remember. you didn't. I'm gonna listen. Back. I don't know. You gotta listen back. Yeah. But uh, my, my my thing is um, Popeyes. Ran out of buns because they don't make sandwiches ever. And also, what am I going to say? Oh, if you were fucking smart, actually, how could you ever, how could you ever see this coming? Somebody got the inside feed and bought stocks of Popeye's, dude. Who was a smart guy that got that inside feed? Man, Uh, probably Martha Stewart. I guarantee, yo, (laughs) if you were Popeye's gal, yo, dude, didn't she go to prison for insider trading once? Yeah, Yeah, she she did. Shit, shit, thug. If you had that back, fucking gangster. If you were like Back to the Future guy, remember how uh, that dude got rich in Back to the Future? Uh, Biff. Yeah, he had the sports almanac. But if he really wanted to get rich, he'd come back to the future. Or come back to the past. I don't know how that shit works. It's weird. Doesn't, doesn't matter. But he would see that Popeye's about to make a chicken sandwich. He'd put stocks in Popeye's for on August 19th or whatever the fuck day. And then take his stocks out on August like 25th and probably profit by $500 billion. He wouldn't have to ever do anything again. Over some chicken sandwich. Over a fucking chicken sandwich would make you more money than any sports almanac. Moral of the story, go to go to Popeye's when they have them again. Yeah, well, great. you missed out. So They're great, You dude. missed the craze. They're fucking And if great. you're one of those people that, oh, I'm not part of trends. Well, this is a trend you should have been a part of. <laughs> it's yeah. not a trend, dude. You got to eat. Yeah, you gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, sure. you gotta eat for sure. Okay, wise but the, guy. There, but you know there are those people that yeah, are cool just guy. like, <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'm not part of that trend. But then when like the Amazon starts burning, all of a sudden they're a fucking environmentalist. Yeah, like, get the fuck out of here. Let's go plant trees, bitch. P- trees don't grow in Texas. All of a sudden, their uh, their Instagram post is gonna save the Amazon from burning down. Yeah, we'll get we'll get her. <laughs> bitch, go plant trees in the Amazon, homie. Yeah, we'll get her. Let's see how much of an environmentalist you are. Trees are tight. Trees are trees are cool. Trees do grow in Texas, but not up here. It's not the right amount. Even grass. People act like we're going to fucking run out of them. <laughs> 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 well, I guess from, from the Amazon, we get a shitload of oxygen. I mean, like, o- ox- oxygen is there. It exists. Sir. I mean, every, it's every, it's out there. Everything's you know. there, dude. Listen, man, I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna get in here and pretend I like majored in biology and got a degree in biology and took fucking biology classes and you know all this shit. But man, dude, isn't that what you went to school for? <laughs> 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 no, uh, no, no, but trees. <laughs> the Amazon does produce a lot of a lot of percentage of our oxygen, and, and it. I, I think once we start. Well, I mean, once that shit starts burning too much, we're going to have a bigger greenhouse effect. But at the same time, I don't think it's going to really fucking matter. It won't. It's, yeah. it's just too much of a in the big scale. In the big aspect of things, I think, well, I mean, every time you have a big forest fire like that, the forest grows back 20 times bigger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's that like, shit's it's all It's like lush. people here, they fucking burn their yard. Man, my ears popped. And then they have a nice yard, right? Yeah, they burn their yard. 
and it's green as fuck. I mean, is wow. that how it works? Is all like that burn shit well, go back into the I don't dirt? know. I don't know if it works for like the Amazon though. Yeah. Because that, I don't know about all that. Because it's like, <laughs> like for like a legit forest, like yeah, that works because everything's starting to die. But the Amazon's supposed to be thriving. But I mean, as long as they burn all those spiders, I'm I'm cool. Dude, there's a lot of shit out there. There's like fucking centipedes and shit that are like the size of your leg. That's fucked. Can you imagine that motherfucker creeping up on you, all his nasty little yeah. legs? Like, yo, what's up, homie? I'm just here doing my thing. And you're Have just you ever like, seen like that. centipedes eat like mouse, like a mice? Yeah, yeah. they eat mice. It's fucked. Damn, they're yeah. out here preying on fucking I've mammals. I've seen motherfuckers in, in fucking Amarillo recently on Instagram posting centipedes like, huh? I'm like, what are you doing? Kill it. D- dog, if your fucking dog Kill ever it. gets out in the fucking Amazon... You're gonna have to get it. Oh, dog. centipedes are brutal, dude. Oh, I don't, don't dude, don't. Are we watching it? No oh, fucking oh, way. Oh, those are so fucked, dude. That thing is so gnarly. It's Dust. like a fucking snake bug. Wow, fucking mice are so stupid too. Yeah, they're not. They're not all there, man. We've we've done a lot of shit with them. <laughs> Did you know in New York there's more rats than there are humans? For real? Yeah, I went to New York. Is it gross? I see a lot of rats. I saw a few. Dude, yeah. I. The the first night. All those Giants <laughs> fans, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get all of them, dude. <laughs> There's a lot of them. That's pretty good. I tried to get all of them, man. That's for Aaron. How do you say Aaron's last name? Capilla. Capilla. My boy Aaron So Capilla. Italian. Yeah, he Italian? Italian. I don't know. I got to ask him. I chilled with him last night. You think he's Italian? He's Italian, dude. Capilla? That's the be. most fucking Italian name. You think and he's from New York. He's fucking Italian. Yeah, we gotta ask him. That's that's Italian. Just see what he says. I guarantee we go over there right now. He can make us a vodka sauce from scratch. You think I was like Italian or Irish or something? Good point. Lomelli? Is Lomelli Irish? I, I no, it's Mexican. Spanish. Yeah, it's Mexican as hell. Yeah, but most people are like, is that Irish? Like uh-huh. Lomelli? Mali. But if it was like Low Mali, I would understand that, <laughs> but it's a? not. Yeah, with like A L Y. Jesse Low Mali. Low Mali. <laughs> Irish is shit. Yeah, but it's Low Mali. Yeah, my family history is weird. I'm pretty sure I've already said it on the pod before, but whenever my name origin started, it was because there was some guy in Scotland and he laid with a fine queen and they were trying to kill him. So he bailed to uh, Ireland and started up a, a new name, and that's my name. That huh. that Ray, yeah. You one hundred percent have not said that on the podcast. I haven't. No, no, never. <laughs> oh, no. Well, yeah, that's why it happened. I I've known you for maybe twenty years, and I've never heard that story. Oh yeah, that, that's my origin, <laughs> man. I, I was a, a my uh, family heritage comes from an adulterer. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Just trying to get some of that queen. Just out there trying to fuck. Trying to get some of that queen trim, some of that royal pussy. <laughs> Some of that roast beef before it was roast beef. So uh, today at work, I drove by a business called the Slay Station. That's something. No way. I swear. The, the Slay Station. Where? Well, the Slay Station. What, what do they? Uh, what do they? What sell? do they do? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Don't know what they do. It's on First and Polk. Is Don't know. Is it's this, brand new. Is this a first Slay Station? The Slay Station. It's probably like a barber shop. We gonna slay that head, boy. Or they just sell slays. S L E I G H. Just some fucking Christmas slays. <laughs> oh. What's the difference between a slay and a sled? Slay is like slaying somebody, like putting them down. I think slay and sleds the same shit, dude. They gotta be the same shit. Maybe one's powered by reindeers and one is S L E I G H. Is that what is? The Does it even station exist? Is? No. It yeah, you're S L A Y. What did you say? S L A Y? Is that, yes. is that what oh. Dude, Did you think S L E I G H? I was thinking like some Santa Claus shit. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, could you imagine? That's exactly, dude. That's... He thought these motherfuckers had a store full of sleighs? <laughs> yeah. Put fucking reindeer in? The way. <laughs> The way you fucking like oh, laid that oh shit out, my God. Dude, dude. I didn't really 
really think I thought you were just fucking around. <laughs> I didn't think you really thought they were slaves. Dog, yeah. The as soon as fucking Nick brought it up in my head, I was thinking like S L E I G H station, like the oh, a slave station. Oh my god! I didn't even think dude, of the word slay, fuck. like slayer. I fucking wish I saw the goddamn reindeer sleigh station. <laughs> Holy god. shit, dude! Yeah, I swear, I swear, that's what it was to me. Like that's what I believed. Like oh my god! I, I literally dude. thought that's where we were going with this. Oh, now I'm kind of like disappointed that we're not. But at the same time, there's another million dollar idea. We got those fucking bumper <laughs> stickers. <laughs> Yes, we're making a slave station Dude, come they go, hand, they go hand in hand, man. man. We got bumper stickers for bumper slaves. Bumper stickers for slaves. You already know. <laughs> Dude, I'll get the fu- Look up slave station. S-L-A-Y station. Yeah. Dude, you get a slave. What are you looking up anyways right now? Like some fucking boutique booths? Get off of the images. Tag. Oh, you already looked it up? And also put a space in between slave station because it's not PlayStation. <laughs> One word. <laughs> and type it type Amarillo Slay Station Amarillo cause Dude, it's here Danny do you use the idea. internet I swear to fucking god you don't man go, go type in a P on your uh, fucking your search bar and see what comes up that's oh, fun that's is. weird maybe that is what it is I one knew of those. I I'm, I'm gonna take I'll take a picture of it Monday I'll post it on Monday when the podcast comes out <laughs> So internet, by the time you've heard this, business. you'll see a photo of the Slay Station on our Instagram story. Oh, just like the Pirates Club, I promise code, man. everybody. Just I'll like make the pir- it happen. Yeah. You know what? I'll get out and I'll ask what's going on, too. I would really like to know. I got a lot well. of free time on Mondays at work, so I'll see what's cracking. There you go, man. Hop in there and be like, y'all slaying in here or what? Y'all slaying? It's a probably lot, a nail a salon, dude. Oh. And they just slay their nails. Well, you know? that's what those that's little like, things were. Come that's like a slayed. fucking... A little, like a, boot, get slayed, like a little boutique, bo- boutique booth. Huh. Like, oh, when you... Oh, so when you Googled Slay Station, images was like vanities? Yeah, like vanity things. Huh. Google my uh, version. The Type Slay, slay station. station. Like the fucking... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Google <laughs> Josh's version, dude. Because I'm, I'm very, very curious. <laughs> That'd be a sick... I would love it. Oh! Sick, That'd be a Is sick a fucking name for a bar, dude. The Slay Station. Look, how you want to spell it, Josh. Oh, dude, yeah. You just like ride up in there. That would be good, dude. The Slay Station. We get a fucking sick right. bumper sticker that says Reindeer Crossing. Everybody just start putting... <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Reindeer Crossing. I like it. Dude, you can buy a model of it. Well, we got to buy one and put it on the table for the holidays. Yeah. I'm yeah. Good. yeah. How much yeah. is it? Go to the shopping tab. Don't, is it, is don't it like search. a pit stop for slaves? Like you just pull up in there. Oh, man. Rudolph, feel, go get you a drink. I feel like we would kill it if we opened a bar called the oh, Slay, Slay the Station. Shopping tab. It's a dream. We're going to get 18 there. 18 bucks? Ah, chilling, dude. Easy. We're we going to put that, that over here, uh, Easy up here on the station. Oh, wait, no. wait. Real All question. Does it have that prime delivery on it? Oh, sure does. Oh, sure yeah. does, dude. Yeah. Uh, that'll be yeah, here tomorrow. He's not, he's not logged in right now. But. Danny probably doesn't even know what Amazon Prime is. I'll have that fucking drone oh, drop that fucker off tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, for those people that do have Amazon Prime, if you ever use the video, it does have Thursday Night Football on it. Sure does. No, no shit. That's yeah. awesome. Amazon Prime wait. Video's got Thursday Night Football. 13 days away. You only have to hold down the ones with the yellow lines around it. Oh, okay. Like this one. And this one. And this one. Ooh, that was rough. That works. So like if I... (laughs) GX1000. (laughs) It sounded like a fucking sensor dude. I killed it. (laughs) Swear to God, GX uses this. Dude, yeah, dude, <laughs> I can't believe you thought it was slay, like a legit sleigh station. Uh, that's, uh, that, dude, that's the thought that's, I had in my head, and I was riding with it, man. I was like, I felt that, you know. That's the highlight of the fucking podcast right there. As soon Should as it left it, his are mouth. Are we going to call it the sleigh station? I hope so. Oh, wow. I deleted that's our that new, whole that's our new bar. podcast. Oh, I deleted my whole note. Oh, Bummer. I got it. I got it. I found so, uh, it. is it true that like when people smoke weed that their voices get low? Yes. Lower? Yeah. Yeah. Look at Josh. I think so, man. I think it's like a <laughs> big fact. Like the more the more weed you smoke, the the closer you get to That's being loud. Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you start off and you smoke a little weed and you're like <laughs> and then you smoke a little bit more and you're like, ah and then you smoke a little bit more and you're like, ah <laughs> you're just like ah uh, 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 Wiz Khalifa. 
I'm a fun guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, obviously, I love the game of basketball. It'll never get old. Um, I mean, it's just more question you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. <laughs> I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, I Fuck can't believe that that's shit real. Will never get old. Never will, man. <laughs> Priceless, dude. <laughs> 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 that shit's real life. It's amazing, dude. I love it, man. I fucking love it, man. That wasn't a fucking movie. That was like. What they do, <laughs> baby? Timeless he classic. A goddamn fucking championship. That'll live on for the rest of its life. It will. <coughs> that yeah, just like Toronto's only be. ring they'll ever have. Got him. I mean, it ain't happening again. Mm-mm. Dude, I wonder if there's other gunshots in here. Search. So, uh... Oh, why did it not search? Dude. So, another thing, uh... Shoot gun. Grav gun? What's grav gun, you think? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. Grapple gun. That's a grapple gun? Sounds like one. That was a really long sound. Effect. There's a lot of shit going it on. Sounded like there. a grapple gun. This says DJM gun. I'd like to know what you guys pictured whenever you heard that. Oh, that one was cool as shit, honestly. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so. You know what really makes me mad? When people take the elevator to go up one floor. Oh, yeah. I mean, that I, makes me mad. It makes me mad when people take the elevo- elevator in a building that has three floors. Yeah. I'm like, take the fucking stairs, dude. I, I, live, I get if you're I old, live on the third floor. Or you're, or you're handicapped. Or you're carrying groceries up. Not do it, man. Yeah, get like that, push fuck, yeah, get gro- that workout in, baby. Groceries or you're like carrying like a fucking dolly get, or something. Get fit. Yeah. Well, whenever I lived at Town Square... When I do the dolly, I hit the This elevator. was always an issue because every motherfucker had to take the elevator. And by the time I got upstairs and was in my apartment, I could hear that door open. So, time is money, baby. Dude. That's true, man. I'm, every day, I'm in, I'm in elevators probably, I don't know, I want to say like 40% of my day. <clears throat> and so many times someone will fucking like come and hold the door. And I'm going up to like the 11th floor and shit. These people hold the door and they go up to the second floor. And I'm just like, you can't take the fucking stairs. Yeah. You lazy piece of shit. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Walk. That's why you're a fucking piece of shit. Like, if start, I, start taking the stairs and you won't be a piece of shit anymore. If I'm delivering and it's, it's more than three floors, I'll take the elevator. I'll walk up three flights of stairs. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That makes sense, man. And it's always those people that are like, well, I get winded after I get up the stairs. <laughs> well, if you fuck, well, start today. Well, start, I, well, start today. Well, everybody does. Yeah. Also, everybody fucking does. Yeah. <laughs> start today, get winded a little bit, get your fucking workout in, man. You're obviously not working out at home. You're obviously not doing it on your own. You're obviously not doing shit. Oh, what'd you just, did you just go eat a fucking fried chicken Popeye sandwich and a 44 ounce <laughs> oh. fucking soda? Diet, bitch. Oh, oh, yeah. What do you got oh, on that one, How can Susan? I forget diet soda? So they're, so they're good. You yeah. get, if you get a diet soda, it cancels out what you ate, so it doesn't matter. I, how could I fucking forget? Yeah, that's how it works, dude. If fucking, that's how it works. If you get a diet soda, you can eat whatever you want. Pound a White Claw with it. Doesn't matter. I was going to get us a 12-pack of White Claws, oh, but they were all sold wonderful. out. Wonderful. They were all sold out everywhere. Yeah, they should be. They're hot right now. They're just the white, like that fucking white, sandwich. White Claw is like the fucking Popeye's chicken sandwich, man. It's, it's crazy those things have been out for like a year, but all of a sudden they're like the fucking rage, they're man. Heat. Yo, they're, dude, they're uh, the drink to if, have. If you, if if you want to be an influencer, just make some video about White Claws and Popeye's chicken sandwiches. You're an influencer. That's Which it. is also the most cringy thing ever. Yeah. Being an influencer. An influencer. Yeah. Ah, the ah. worst. Yeah. It, like, what? I, I hate I would like to know what that, the official the, definition the, to an Instagram well, influencer is. Influencers me, are different. If you're, I've seen them. If Trust you're doing me, skits and they're, like, actually funny and they actually have good premise and it's, like, actually, like, a joke being put past, I'm cool with that. But other other motherfuckers are just, like, 
Oh, I don't know, man. They just like, I, I want to give you my opinion about this and this and, this, and that's just like, oh, what? Yeah, those people are the pieces of like, shit. That's not info. Yeah. That's a review. Well, the influence is like, him, do it, I want to smoke this crack or not? I'm trying to. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true too. Yeah, we talked I'm about crack to, a lot. I'm trying to think of drug. like who an who uh, good an influencer would be. Probably, I'm trying to uh, think. Your preacher. Uh, it's hard I to say. I don't really know their names. I don't know their names either. But you just see them, and it's just so, like because there's a few that I, I'd say like what's her name? She has like a big old peach booty, and I'd say she's an influencer because she it's does a lot of those doesn't do anything like she was painting one time and she got like a million likes on it and she's like oh i love to paint but she's like i don't know it's just mediocre at painting yeah i don't know it's fucking stupid i just can't get behind it bunch of random top influencers another one another one public figure kylie dinner i guess could yeah she's a little of both she's a billionaire yeah i get i guess Kim Kardashian kind of started out as an influencer, but now I she's... Think, I think the, the Kardashians in general started the trend of being an influencer. Yeah, because they're just famous for doing nothing. They started a Maybe lot Paris of Maybe Paris Hilton. Yeah, she was she was ahead of the times, it's, but... It's just like... She, it just... What, there was no, like, real internet when look she up was the, the shit, you know? OGI. Definition of an influencer. Because I think it's just someone with no talent at all, and they just... You might have to Google it as social media in, it, influencer, no, an, though. No, an influencer is just someone that promotes products online, and that that's their job. Like, they, all they do is promote shit on social yeah, media. Yeah, but, but the only reason they got the ability to be wow that's the most captain obvious goddamn definition an influencer definition a person or thing that influences another person no shit i mean that it is what it is no <laughs> shit the reason they became influencers though is is just like no reason they were just hot or something you know what i mean yeah like, i mean so they got, most most influences are hot fucking so they it ended up yeah getting, i would do a lot of shit just for getting a lot of followers. And probably yeah. hot dudes too yeah, of course, dude. But what I'm saying is, like, they didn't get there from, like, winning the Olympics or yeah, doing just, this or doing that. It's do just like, thing. oh, they're hot and they got a lot of followers. They didn't, they didn't do skits. They're, they didn't do comedy. It's yeah. like, oh, they're just, they're, they're just they're there. Hot. And they just they're got, beautiful got a lot of followers, so we're going to sponsor them. Oh, dude, exactly. It's like, you're hot. Influencer. <laughs> shotgun, shotgun this beer with me. No. Don't hey, be will a you, pussy. Hey, will you zoom in it. on the, Influencer. do they have it in a sentence? Yeah, like, I bet like spelling bee status. I bet you the uh, use it in a sentence, please. I bet you Urban Dictionary would have a good definition. Should I shotgun the spear? Yes. Do not be a pussy. Did you think? Okay. Hey Siri, use the word influencer in a sentence. Okay, I found this on the web for use the word influencer in a sentence. Well, I wish she don't even want to do it. to me. She ain't on that bandwagon yet. Oh, these these are these are like some fifth grade like math problem kind of things. How could Alex be a positive influence if his uncle truly felt that way? Well, it sounds like his uncle raped him. <laughs> Without a doubt, the fact that the babies were healthy had a major influence on his mood. <clears throat> sounds like domestic violence. Dem- Classic. Damien Damien sought out Soph oh Sophie. Damien sought out Sophie, both for her calming influence and any tidbits of what she might have seen. Incest? Yep. Yeah. I think traitors have some influence on that, too. Uh, all the other bad things. Okay. we Sounds like okay. An, an influencer didn't is get, didn't normally get the point. bad. We, 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 got it, we got it pulled up on Urban Dictionary oh, okay. now. Influencer, a word Instagram users use to describe themselves to make... <laughs> <laughs> them feel famous and more important when <sighs> no one really knows who they are. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jeff, so what do you do for a living, Becky? I'm an influencer. I have 200,000 followers. Exactly. <laughs> See, that's that's what I'm trying to say is like Yeah, that's mad oh, cringe. Yeah, like yeah. what's your what's your accomplishment? Oh, well, I won the I won the Olympics in wrestling. What's your accomplishment? I have a million followers. That what well what do you do? That's oh, what dude. I do. That's what I do. I have, oh, I'm I'm just I, I'm I have just a million on, followers. I just told you I have a million followers. I'm I just on, followers. I'm on Twitter and Instagram, uh, and I post about uh, 
Herbalife. Going, I post Herbalife. about going to raves. I post about Herbalife. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking scam if I've ever heard of one. Still going strong in Amarillo, man. Is it? Motherfuckers love it out here. Every one of those nutrition places, it's all Herbalife. Just do some fucking steroids like an adult. It's a, pyra- it's a pyramid scheme. Like just, They're like, yeah. yo, bro, you want a smoothie? No. There's protein in it. No, nah, bro, I'm good. I would rather just eat healthy. I'm okay. If I'm going to fucking binge drink gonna eat. and eat healthy, I'm not going to fucking drink Herbalife. Yeah. Right? I'm not going to drink 50 smoothies a day. <laughs> yeah. I already, I already eat. Fucking. I eat healthy and drink bad. Yo, all those, I, I delivered a multiple of those Herbalife places and all of them smell like farts. All of it's them. It's all the protein. They man. all smell like fucking farts. I've never been in one that smells good. It all smells like farts. I walk in there, I'm like, wow, farts. This great. Not even like rotten egg dust. smell. Farts. Straight up <laughs> farts. Oh, like dirty farts? Straight up <laughs> Not even protein farts. farts like Just straight butt. Just, uh, gnarly butt farts. Shitty butt like dirty, farts. Like dirty butt farts. Damn, the, so the worst kind like, of shitty butt farts. There's yeah. just like shit crystals floating all over yeah. that fucking Oh, dude. Like, the like, kind of farts let, where, where you need to take a dump let, and it's it smells yeah, real bad. Let, let me uh, ask you this. Is it kind of like the kind of oh, farts you get? Like you got fu- yeah, faded the night before. You go in the shower. You turn the water on hot. You get inside the fucking water and you fart hard as fuck and it goes and you just fucking whiff it and it's the worst fucking smell you've uh, ever smelled. Is that kind of fart? Oh, uh, yeah. It ain't that fucking bad. <laughs> but God damn it. We all know that smell, man. Dude. Those are the worst farts, dude. You fucking crank the shower and you fucking get in there. You, you, know, got, a, you got a good beer shit yo, fart it, fucking waiting. It's all, you it's get not, in there. You yep. let it fucking rip, and then you're just like, "Oh wow, yeah." You you shock yourself. It's fucking so bad. It's like that hot water oh, push, pushes it out of you, dude. It. Dude, that hot water fucking the steam builds it drains up. you. It like gets those gas bubbles and makes them worse and shit. And it gets you. It gets those little little fucking uh, little uh, por- pores in your butthole ready to oh, fire dude. out. Oh, and then they just all explode. Your They're fucking just shower ready curtain to just loosen that butthole up. <laughs> shower curtain moves. yeah dude get a fucking good wave going <laughs> and, in the dude, shower curtain you're in there and you're just like wow wow the, yeah the i definitely got you up. smell it and you're just like if you if, wow if you're not sure if you got fucked up last night and you step in that hot water and fart you're like yep i got faded last night because my farts stink like you're death. like dude I have something dead in my fucking oh, stomach. Oh, shit. It's brutal, dude. And <laughs> that hot steam just brings it straight <laughs> into your face. Do you remember when we, we were asking if we'd ever sharded before? Yeah. Uh, you I, said you never I, did? No, I have. I remember. Let's hear it. It was, it was the best story, <laughs> dude. Let's fucking hear it. Because oh, we're at one hour. No, let's fucking wrap All it right, up. Man, whatever <laughs> let's I, wrap it up with your shit dude, story. Oh, it's bad, man. I, I just like wasn't thinking about it at the time because I don't like to think about this this era of my life but whenever i was with my ex dude we were like laying in bed one morning and i had like it was a long night of fucking drinking and doing Sharp bed it. dude yeah oh, i can't wait to get in this story dude i was like oh i spoiled dude, it she dude she was awake though <laughs> just chilling in bed like i was like in and out of like hangover <laughs> sleep and dude i fucking like yes, yes i yes, fucking yes, sharded yes. dude it like I felt that shit like come out <laughs> into my boxers, dude. <laughs> and I fucking like, like it was loud, like because like I was saying, dude, I was like halfway in and out of sleep, right? And like, I let that shit rip, you know. And it was loud. It was like loud enough to like wake me up a little bit. And then like I felt it, and I was like, oh fuck! And I jumped up and tried to act <laughs> like I was like, dude. It was like way too late, dude. Like it was obvious. It was obvious what happened, man. And I like, I like fucking farted myself awake. Cool. <laughs> and I fucking, I fucking jumped up, dude. I like tried to play it off like I had a like a. a you know, like you know when you jump and you're you're like yeah, sleeping like shit. I tried to play it off like that, dude. I just got up. I didn't say a fucking word, dude. I just I just went straight to the bathroom, man. And like it was so bad, dude, that I literally like took my boxers off and just like threw them, threw them in the fucking uh, bathtub. In the trash, dude. You I just did, trash there was all. it just wasn't one in there, and I threw it in the fucking bathtub and I just walked back in there and just like 
Like I like you know, like I took her to shit, wiped my ass and everything, but dude, I was just like, dude, it's just like you can't even like say anything. I can't walk in there and be like, Oh hey babe, I, I fucking charted. <laughs> hey, sh- hey, shit, shit my, my pants. Yeah, shit my- <laughs> like it was just Shit my like, pants on the bed. It's like uh, it's like sorry baby, I shit myself. <laughs> like <laughs> I just walked back in there and just went back to sleep and never it never got brought up again. But there's like no way she like didn't know what happened. But at the same time, it's just like, <laughs> oh, just happened to do this in front of the right person oh, at the right time. So yeah, yeah. Sorry, I uh, my my mind went blank. But hey. there, there it is. There it is. There's it's th- all good because that was a fucking great uh, story. There for it is. So twenty two. Holy there, there fuck, it is. dude. Yeah, time to go to the sleigh station, man. Time to fucking hit the sleigh station. The sleigh station. Man. Time That's to, all. Time to take a fucking elevator up one floor and go to the sleigh station. I guess we're taking over off the hook, and that'll be the sleigh station, man. That's that'll it. be our new bar. That's we'll it, sell dude. really great beers. We'll say it. sell cra- uh, craft beer and Coors Light. That's it. That's it. And that's that's all. Jade we Garcia, sell. Butterfly. Shout out to Jade. Danny Ralph, first comment. Right on, oh, Danny Ralph. Fucking dude. This has been a fucking great episode. I we've, love this one. We've had man. a lot working. Huh. A lot working. Up. Oh, it's not working? <laughs> Fuck me, right? How great will it be if it works if I touch it? Touch it. <laughs> oh, that would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> the, antici- nah. the anticipation was there. Why is it not working? That's weird. Eh, don't worry about it. Let's wrap this up. Oh, no. There it goes. We're about to get it, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, maybe this shit just gave out. I don't know. Who cares? We don't need it one. anymore because this episode's over. This episode's over. Um, uh, yo, sports. T- t- uh, tonight we were we were drinking on uh, Deep Ellum Playdate. It's a sour. And uh, Stone's Tropic of Thunder Lager. Basic sour, basic lager. Don't really have any descriptions for them. They were they yeah. were good. I love I love the lager. That's I all I really drink. I didn't even take one sip of the lager didn't because t- it was too far away from me, and I'm scared I'm gonna break something. Yeah, I it didn't take one sip of the nice sour hint of pine. It really doesn't, but you know, <laughs> you <just> trying, <laughs> that's, that's trying to sound trying to like sound one smart. of those fucking badass fucking that's beer all, guys. That's okay, dude. So yeah, man, this this was episode twenty two, and I don't I don't think we fucking laughed harder ever yeah you know, we I'm, went pretty dude, hard on I, the sleigh station i fucking love laughing yeah man. i think we, i think we really we really podcast. bonded tonight. we did we fucking we, we did sh- we shredded dude we that was ripped. good yeah i had a really hard thought about laughing in general earlier today i was like it's weird that you can only laugh like when it happens like dude, you can't, yeah you, you can't, can't just fake like, it like I was, it just like really fucked my head up because yeah. i was like i can't just be sitting here and just like start laughing like it just has to happen in the well you could but you'd look psychotic well yeah you'd look like fucking Kawhi leonard like you can't fake it yeah, that's true too. Laughing, Why Leonard does laughing's look like the fucking best, man. I fucking this was a good pod. Truly, yeah. So, uh, truly sport, sports, 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 sports. September fourth. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna. Me and Nick, two Josh, weeks. Not even two weeks. Got now. a lot of candidates that would like. We're gonna, to be we're on gonna there. record it in twelve days. So uh, a lot of people want to be a part of that one. We'll probably yeah, man, sit down and try to figure out who who the candidates are for getting on, and see if we can put the schedule together first of all so he's going to be the true, first true, guest true. stuff like that yeah my boy coach lane wants to be a part of it all right it'd be nice sure, to see we got a lot of people that want to get on so see one, he one person a week man there's a lot of there's a lot of weeks i know that's what i'm saying it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one i'm, I'm gonna pretty be excited one. about it what what I, I, my favorite thing is that we'll be able to get like 20 people on which yeah. will be really nice if nobody flakes yeah somebody's gonna flake oh for sure but Either way, it's going to be fun just to get people that want to try it out, you know. And if you do good, you know, who knows? Maybe you'll get on the on the real podcast. Yeah, dude. It's, it's going to be, be like the casting I mean, couch. both of them are going to be real, but. It's going to be on like the casting couch for the fucking, for the big show. Yeah, if you earn your way in, That's you know. mix right there. You know I'm saying. But yeah, yeah. dude. So uh, look out for that. Premiering September 5th. And uh, as always, thank you to Yellow City for the delicious beers go give them a follow at yellow city street food on instagram thank you to eighth Ave tattoo at eighth Ave tattoo on instagram love you guys man you guys fucking kill it and yeah uh you got a handle of the week 
Sure do. You can follow me at cum dumpster donor. <laughs> cum dumpster donor? Cum dumpster cum d- donor. All, yeah. all one word. I, la- I laughed prematurely on that one. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, you got in the way. Cum dumpster donor. Cum, cum dumpster cum donor. And here's the best funny. part about all this shit. The other day, I fucking tried all of them on Instagram to see if they worked. And nine out of ten times, they all did. You got to start them all. So, uh. You got to listen back and start them all. So, go follow all of Josh's Instagrams. Follow Jesse, you know where he's at. Follow me, you know where I'm at. You know what? Let's shout Danny out. Everyone fucking go follow Danny behind the scenes. What's your shit, Amarillo Kid 806? Give a fucking follow to Danny, dude. Somebody just go slide in his fucking DM. Holler at him, dude. He's back here just not doing shit. He needs something to do, man. Holler at him in his DM so he can fucking be on his phone some more while we're podcasting. Send him a fucking titty pic so we can (laughs) all see it too. Or a dick pic. Damn, we ain't all straight. (laughs) (laughs) I like to dabble my toes in like some dick game. Hey, man, there ain't nothing wrong with a good cock shot. Listen, man. Can't this, hate, man. The, the way I look at it. give respect. The way I look at it. <laughs> since, since I'm straight. Some good looking dicks out there. She's like, so, God damn, bro. Hey, yo. Hey, nice dick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. If Since I'm straight, I get to see pussy and, you know, touch it and stuff. But I don't get to see, I don't get to see a lot of dicks. Like, go ahead and give me some, di- like, some dick pics so I can see, be like, damn, dude, that's pretty nice. I get I see pussy all the time, you know. I'm a straight guy. Hey man, nice dick. You trying to get some nice Damn, dick bro, pics? Look at that knob on you, man. Hey man, <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, man. man. Look, look at look, look at that, that, look at that fucking chode. <laughs> hey man, look at this guy's chode over here, man. A little short ass chode. Man, hey man, what you, you know feeding that thing? Like a cockroach and shit. How many miles you got on that motherfucker? Yeah, man. How, what's, your, what's your what's your fucking body count on that bitch? What's your secret, bro? <laughs> Where'd you get that mushroom? <laughs> You're fucking cut off. This has been episode 22. <laughs> Hit us up at GrowlerPod everywhere. Check out thecoldcuts.com. We'll see you guys for the big two, three next week. I got bars. You don't have shit. We're sitting at the... Go ahead and put a beat on. I got Mars bars. Oh, hell yeah. Now it's not... Oh, I turned it down. (laughs) Turned it down. I couldn't fucking hear it. I'm coming through, man. You better fucking fear it. My penis. That's what you're looking. I'ma come through. Got these boys stay spooking. Looking out the back. Looking out the window. I'ma come through. I'ma have to fucking spin you. Put you in the ground like a fucking screw. I'ma come through with like a little boy blue. Like I'm fucking holla how. Clowning at the wolves. I'ma come through. Had to take your fucking tooths. <laughs> <laughs> uh, young moolah bang, bang. yeah dude